What do you hear? What do you say? It's another Roblox day and I'm here in the legendary world of Piggy and in today's video I'm gonna be analyzing the new clues about Piggy 2 that Minitune has already released in his Twitter. So if you haven't seen it before, here it is. It says what happens next. This just came out like a day or two ago. The emojis that he put are an alarm, a water droplet, and snow. Which leads us back to the scene that we saw before where Pony, all bundled up and ready to go, was walking through the snow. And at the end of the scene, he says, this is what uh, we've been looking for. So the snowflake is kind of obvious, isn't it? So it's going to be a snow map. We know that already. But what's with the water and then the alarm? Now, a lot of people in the comments on Twitter were saying the alarm was an ambulance and maybe he just couldn't find an ambulance emoji. He would have used the ambulance emoji if it was that or a police car or something like that so i don't think this is some kind of rescue although it could be even though i did a map of winter where you were rescuing george from jail you check out my live stream if you want to see that or just follow my profile at bigger dad t you can play my winter hideout map but that's not what i think it is here people i think that emoji for the alarm is some kind of massive uh, alert like a worldwide alert or a, or a catastrophic event if you remember back from mini tunes old tweets he said that he wanted the new piggy 2 to be like some of his old maps that he did and some of his old maps from my video i did before were based on a underwater map uh he even said he wanted it to be some kind of a catastrophic underwater adventure so Here's what I think this means. Well, I think the alarm is some kind of catastrophic event, such as, you know, an atomic bomb or some a meteor or something hit that melted all the snow. And then you have water, so it's gonna be flooded. Just like he had a flooded bottom basement and station. So I think this is gonna be some kind of catastrophic event in the winter time that ends up flooding the maps. And now you are going to be playing underwater. In his previous tweet, he also said he wanted it to be like uh, some kind of post-apocalyptic event. And I remember that tweet and I did it in a video before. The post-apocalyptic event, the alarm would set off the alert of a post-apocalyptic event about to happen. It happens and then everything melts. So what about this comet set underwater? Are we going to have some kind of underwater map? And also, the event. How did it happen? The alarm looks very familiar to alarms that are set in nuclear facilities as well. So maybe the emoji isn't an alert, but an alert of an alarm of a nuclear facility that is going through a process of meltdown. Okay, maybe the nuclear facility meltdown, which would be a catastrophic event, is melting the snow into water and is happening in a slower process. Therefore, there's more time to prepare. Maybe underwater facilities or habitats are being built to secure everybody. And the next maps after the snow map is that we're going to finish this game and this cure underwater in facilities and somehow seeing how we want to cure the infected we're going to either find the potion underwater facility maybe the lab the famous lab that we've all heard about is actually a lab underwater or maybe under a nuclear facility that had a previous meltdown and that is why we're going underwater is to actually find the lab that we have not yet found and it's not really mr p's lab but the lab that mr p hired to make the potion to save his wife we need to go back to the original point of the potion being created in order to find an antidote because an antidote is actually made from the original virus or potion so the potion or the cure is in an underwater lab and maybe chapter two of piggy two we find this underwater lab we go underneath and maybe there's chapter three four and five is all set 
underwater trying to find this potion. How do the infected get in there? Because part of the gameplay is that we're always running from the infected. We're always trying not to get infected. So how does the infected get down to the underwater lab unless they were already infected due through experiments that the scientists did in trying to create a potion. You do have to have some kind of test trials on a potion, unlike stupid Mr. P, who didn't do test trials and he just tried it on random people without doing it in the confines of a lab. So maybe we're going to find the smart pig, the scientist pig, who did it in confines of a lab underwater. So even if the infected escaped their holding cells, they didn't get out of the lab and make it to the surface where they would infect everybody else. That would have been the smart play, is to have your test subjects confined in an area that even if they escape, they still can't get into the general population. Unlike, unlike the idiot Mr. P that went and infected Georgie's family and then seven people completely with seven potions that he took from this lab. So that's the only thing I can think of is we have some kind of event that is now going to push us down into this underwater facility where the lab is. We're going to find the potions. We're going to find the formulas. And we're going to somehow, maybe in later chapters, bring them back to the surface. Granted, this catastrophic event didn't make it uninhabitable. So that we have to worry about as well. Either way, this story twist has gotten extremely wild, crazy, and bizarre. Because now we're going from one type of world to another one. Mini Toon originally said also that there should have been some kind of uh, facility that withheld us from the post-apocalyptic event. So the only thing I can think of is one, it's either the lab is underwater or where we now reside is going to have to be underwater so that we, the uninfected, are not contained. So let me know in the comments what you think about this theory. Uh, I have multiple theories that I'm contemplating now, but this is one of them based on the clues we have. Now, we'll get another set of clues before Piggy 2 comes out, and we'll make a better determination of what the maps are going to be or what the storyline is going to go, or at least how it's going to start. He's not going to give everything all at once, but Chapter 1 and 2, I believe... We're getting some kind of event, melting the snow, we got alerted, we escape, and then we end up in a facility underwater. Make sure you leave a comment, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and I will see you in the next theory video. And remember people, when you're racking your brain over these clues, try and stay lucky!